You know, it's rough being that cute, I guess, huh? <laughs> Playing with all those toys. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> it's the Sleeve Singer coming to you with my Week 21 post-op update. Um, it is the day after Christmas. I hope yours was a great one. Um, I am off today and had planned on taking a 930 step class. Um, but it is one sleeting here in Maryland and two um, I have my goddaughter with me who has um, a little cough and whatever and I had plans of um, you know somebody either coming here to watch her while I went to work out or um, I could take her to someone but like I said it's snowing and sleeting here in Maryland and with her already being a little sick I said okay so I guess I'm uh, feeling uh, like how some of you parents are when you say it's just hard to do it with the kids. Um, I'm dealing with it, but um, you know, uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs> I wasn't able to get my workout in and I guess this is the first time I've had to give it up, I guess, for um, something or someone else because it's always been a number one priority for me. So I get it now, I hear you guys. Um, so let me get you to the numbers. Um, when I started my journey, I was at 293. Uh, I had surgery 21 weeks ago. At that time, my weight was 277. Um, I think the last time I reported to you guys, my weight was 208. Um, and as of this morning, it is 207. And um, it was 206 yesterday. Unfortunately, yes, I do weigh myself every day, which is not what you're supposed to do. Um, but I do and um, it was at 206 yesterday. It's now at 207 as of this morning And I'm almost positive that it went up a, a pound because of my um, And uh, my, my carb intake for yesterday, of course, I focused on the protein first, but I ingested a little bit more um, carb um, Being the holidays than I normally would and, and I'm okay with the fact that there was any loss between this week and last week um because yesterday uh, I had a normal portion control day um, with a little bit of indulgence. And to me, that's a normal lifestyle. Um, I was not normal prior to surgery. I would have had, you know, a full two, three plates of food. I would have had the sugar intake as well. Um, all of that. And um, yesterday I had what I could with the food. Um, I did the protein first. Um, I tried a little bit of a um, pasta dish that I just wanted to know if I could do any pasta yet. And um, I, I actually uh, wound up, it, it, you know, feeling a little funny and I wound up having to push it out. Um, you know, I guess I'm just gonna not be a pasta person, which is okay with me. Um, one less carb I gotta fight off, right? Um, so, uh, I um but but overall um you know I had you know like I said my my plate of food which was small portions um I had uh some veggies and then you know later on I had you know a piece of cake or um you know a piece of chocolate or something but like I said a little bit more carb intake than I would normally have and um you know the scale tells you that and I need um I mean, this, I'm just so glad I did this. I need to be accountable to something and someone right now. And um, knowing that I had to report into you guys for today um, really helped me stay, you know, in the zone. Um, and just, you know, the compliments and everything I was getting from people who hadn't seen me in a while, that always helps too. Um, I am getting tired of answering the question, can you have that? You can eat that and all of that make it a video go back in the room for a minute thank you close the door thank you see anyway um so uh um let's see where i remember where i left off so um anyway like i said it was all uh portion controlled and everything and um you know, I, I, like I said, just being accountable really just helps me to um, do the right thing. So, like I said, any loss is a good thing. Um, I guess I'm not going to be able to keep this long. Oh, the um, 
Think Thin Protein Bar um, definitely gave me the surge that I needed um, for my early morning workout because I tried it, um, I think, for that Saturday morning um, step class. And um, when I did, uh, I could, you know, feel a little extra push it gave me. Um, but I need to run it by my nutritionist. I was reading the label, and um, it looks like it may be um, a little bit more of... Um, sugar alcohol that I need to check. Um, I know I gotta get these calories in somehow in the morning so that I can work out early when I need to. Um, so uh, I just I just gotta see. Um, I'm gonna run it by my nutritionist and, and see what she thinks about it and um, I'll get back to you guys on that. Um, sorry, I'm kinda all over the place. Um, I, uh, I think I'm done. I think I told y'all everything I wanted to tell you and um, I hope uh, if I'm not back out here before New Year's that your New Year's is safe and blessed. And um, for those of us who are post-op or even those of us who are embarking on the journey after surgery soon, you're, you're just getting started. What a wonderful New Year it's going to be for us this year and next year. We should just be, you know, oh my goodness, right on the zone. I can't wait um, to see everybody's journey unfold and my own as well because every day is a learning process. So you guys be good and I hope your Christmas was great. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good year. Bye-bye.